Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. I send you all so much love and light. Thank you for joining me for today's readings. So these are going to be love readings for the singles and the energy is from now, whenever you come across this now, until early September. Okay, so like the next two weeks or so, we're going to take a look into what kind of energy is coming in. Could be who's coming towards you, experiences you could have, what is your love life looking like. All right, you guys. So all the zodiac signs are timestamped below. Feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I really appreciate it. My name is Lynn. This is Passion of Heart Tarot. I do hope that you enjoy these readings. And with whatever comes through from spirit, you guys, I just want you all to know where these messages come from is only a place of love and light just intended to help. And I do hope that it gives you clarity. I hope that you enjoy the readings. If you do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. Thank you guys for everything. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. My beautiful Virgos, happy birthday, you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful Virgo season. Let's see, how is your love life looking? What energy is coming in for you? You have someone that really wants to make you an offer. I mean... You have someone that is in love with you currently. Currently, this person is in love with you. I can see Capricorn's energy, Sagittarius's energy, and Taurus's energy. Could be who you have on your mind as you watch this, if you're thinking of anyone, or it's cross watchers, or your moon or rising sign. Um, because for some of you where I talk about this person being in love with you, it's a prediction coming in for you because the Ten of Cups is there. The Five of Cups is there also. So that's why I feel for some of you, there's a history or it's the way things will play out. So let me tell you what Spirit is showing me with that Hierophant. That is someone that's looking at you and feeling like you are everything that I wanted. And it's important, important to this person. You know, as far as what they're looking for in a partner spiritually, you just check off all the boxes the hierophant i feel like it's it's um someone who feels you came into their life at the right time and is ready to embark on the next journey in a major way it's someone who's thinking very seriously about their life and their journey and what they should be doing and i don't say that to put pressure on you virgo but i know you may feel like this person is putting a lot of pressure on you or you're going to feel that way when they come towards you if they haven't yet. But the Hierophant just shows me how they really feel. Well, they're very serious about you. And then it's like you just check off all the boxes, so to speak. You're, you're their ideal partner in their eyes. They feel this way about you. And it feels like their mind is made up quick. So you're going to see this person do a lot of things to try and sweep you off of your feet. It feels like obviously you're dating them though. Even though you're still technically single, you're dating this person, you're seeing this person, or at least they're really trying to come on strong. To me, that king of rods there is someone that is really taking the initiative, making plans, letting you know what, you know, making plans and then also openly expressing those plans to you. But the devil's energy is there with the five of cups. So it really feels like you guys are going to tell this person that you don't want to see them anymore. The five of cups shows me like a breakup between the two of you, which is crazy because this is a singles reading. So you, um, it feels like you're dating this person. For others of you, though, maybe you decide to not be single and maybe you do decide to make things official with this person. But it just feels like no matter what the case is, you cut them out and the connection, even if you say it's a, an established relationship, you, you only date this person a very short period of time. But let me tell you, you have someone that is in love with you and I can see just wants to whisk you away. But you have a bad feeling about this person and that is not something that you should ignore. And I, I see Virgo where you're in this space of feeling like you're not going to ignore what that is. 
for some of you, this person, you feel like they're too controlling. You feel like they're love bombing you with the Ten of Cups and the Devil. Do you see there's like these puppet strings? The Ten of Cups is a very euphoric, romantic. But I feel like some of you look at this person and feel like they're doing the most, like they're doing too much. It's actually a turn off the way that they're coming on so strong. I want to look further into that devil's energy to get you clarity as to whether or not like this person's intentions, because it's, it's mixed. Their energy is mixed because the, the devil is here and I cannot ignore that. And then the five of cups is like something that breaks up. But yet this person looks at you as though you're everything that they could ever want, want, wish, hope for. But then there's this weird duality between like religion and like maybe anti-religion with the devil. Interesting, interesting energy. I wonder what I have to look further into this person's energy. I do because um, I can already pick up on you having a bad feeling about them or not liking the way that they're approaching you. So you may feel like this person is one way on the outside, but different on the inside, so to speak. I want to I want to look further and see what spirit shows me what we need to know the most about them. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. Okay, so they're just okay. <laughs> they're not they don't have bad intentions towards you. I don't know how else to say this. They are just very very thirsty and they're making themselves look like they're making themselves look bad honestly they're making themselves look needy or controlling aquarius's energy is also here you guys so this could indeed be an aquarius who you're thinking of or cross watchers moon or rising sign i this person is just in love with you or in a very short period of time they fall head over heels in love with you and the devil is just their attraction to you, how they're drawn to you. They can't get enough of you. I know that they don't want to control you. They just want you. They want you so bad. Now the star's energy is coming through. So they're not going to be able to like let you go. It feels like you could tell this person you don't want to talk to them or see them anymore. And I feel like they're they're going to keep trying. They are going to keep trying. But I feel like what spirit wants you to know is that this person doesn't have negative intentions towards you. They just want you. It's really, they want you. I mean, the star energy is them looking at you and the star and the hierophant together, the star in reverse is because they can't have you. And I feel like that makes them want you even more Virgo, but really you are the light of their life. And I know that they don't want to come across as disrespectful. I don't read any disrespect in these cards in this person's energy towards you. I see someone that wants you, someone that wants to take care of you. Someone that wants to romance you, someone that wants to show you that they're interested. In, and if you turn them down, I see someone that feels like you're the one that got away. So there's someone around you now that is deeply in love with you or this person is getting ready to show up in your life and things will happen very quickly. I feel like spirit wants you to know that. Yeah, you're single watching this, but this person is all in your energy as though the two of you get into a relationship quickly or they're just pursuing you so heavily and in your energy so much. Okay, Virgo, this person is obsessed. That's what's going on for you guys. I send you all much love and light. Happy birthday, Virgo. Libra, you are up next. Let's tap into the energy coming in for you guys in your love life. I feel like you have a show off. <laughs> you have a show off coming in. Ooh, you have an arrogant show off around you. That is like, wow. A Scorpio, perhaps. Scorpio's energy is here. Are you guys thinking of a Scorpio? Maybe um, on the cusp of Scorpio. Cross Watchers, Moon or Rising sign. Also, Sagittarius's energy is here. So this is like... 
something that you could go around a cycle with this person very quickly, or if you already know who this is, you're deciding to put an end to the cycle with this person. Honestly, you guys, this gives narcissist for real. Seriously. I mean, it's the five of swords and that, all, and this person is a straight up show off. OMG. Like, I feel like you're going to end out a cycle with them. Really, the death card is here, so there's a huge change. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ten of swords. Oh, yeah. Ten of I just laugh because you're going to drop this person, and I feel like they're going to be stunned when you tell them that you don't want to talk to them, and I think they feel they can, oh, this person is not to be trusted. I think they feel they can use their old tricks, their old washed-up ways of being, and get you back. They feel like they're going to be able to get you back. I can now see Leo's energy here, you guys. And it feels Pisces energy as well. So this is about... Okay, some of you already know who this person is. I know they put a smile on your face, though. Because they put a smile on my face. Even though they're very charming. And that's probably why they like give this energy of being narcissistic. Because I just see someone who is either... You know who this is now or they're coming towards you, right? They are the center of attention. It feels like no matter where this person goes, they know everyone, even if they don't know anyone. It's just they're very charismatic. I feel like they have a big personality. People are drawn to them. But that Five of Swords is, is a big turnoff. It's, it's the way you're looking at them. You will be turned off by this, even though they do some things that put a smile on your face. And it feels like they're a breath of fresh air. It feels like they're... They even have a wild side. You know, they're very talkative even. But then I know the five of swords is ego and it's the negative side of ego. It's the way that you feel this person can be petty or you don't like the way they can be mean spirited. So like I said, some of you already know who this person is or you're getting ready to have someone that comes in like a love bomb because the eight of rods as with the five of swords and the knight of rods, you guys, that's a, that's someone who's coming in to love bomb you. But the thing that's tricky about the energy is it feels good. When this person is paying attention to you, they really make you the center of attention. So it's constant communication in a very concentrated period of time. But there's also something about it where this person is very sensual. This person is good looking. This person is popular. Red hair is significant for sure. Music is significant for sure as well. Sunflowers too, you guys. So these are all just messages coming through. Take from it what feels right to you. Um, so I know that this person has game. They're fun to be around. It's uh, But be careful because that person's a player. Do you know what I mean? It's the Knight of Rods. And then with all of this energy of love bombing and the Five of Swords, I think you could have a good time with them. I think you can have a really, really good time. But then I also think you could have a bad time with this person and feel like they really rub you the wrong way and turn around and be really irritated and insulted by this person, but then make up with them and love the attention they're showing you. So this is obviously not a healthy cycle. Some of you already know who this person is and Spirit is telling you that this pattern is repeating again and it's the opportunity now to really close out the cycle with them for real. This time, death card, judgment, it's time for you to make a decision. Spirit is really telling you that it's time to put an end to this painful cycle because this person is hurting you and they're only gonna come back in with another fake offer. That's exactly what this is, the Seven of Swords with the Page of Cups. You're, you're better off. You're better off shifting your focus away from this person. Definitely, Libra. Definitely. So it, it does feel like um, if you haven't met them yet, you'll know who this person is because they're the loudest. They're the loudest in the room. They're the one that needs a lot of attention. But then I know that's like a double-edged sword because this person is also very charming and very charismatic and just um, very sexy, very good looking. I think you are going to be attracted to them and then repelled by them at times. So this, um, yeah, this is a singles reading. So this person is going to pursue you. They're going to approach you. They're going to come on really strong. And that's how you know who this person is. They're going to hunt you down. They're going to chase you. 
but just um, use your discernment because this is not going to be healthy for you. I mean, you can have fun, but then it, it'll hurt you too. So just be careful, Libra. That's what Spirit is showing me in the reading, you guys. Okay, just take from it what feels right to you. I love you guys so much. Scorpio, let's get into your love reading. So I feel like someone here is just in this energy of waiting to receive love. And I feel like Spirit wants you to know that you have you have love coming in. You have uh, a match coming in. You have even a couple different people that are going. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. I told you. You see, that's why there's this divine partnership coming through. The king and queen of rods. Leo and Sagittarius is energy, you guys. Are you thinking of one of those signs? Could be cross watchers here or maybe moon or rising energy for you. Yeah, but so you're single, but there is a real opportunity to get into a divine connection, a beautiful connection, because this is like the two of you are two peas in a pod. It's beautiful. Funny, even some of you may look similar to your person. Like you just make the perfect couple. Really, you do like so what I'm saying to you is there's an opportunity for you to have a perfect match that comes in. I know some of you are in this energy now, like the eight of pentacles. And in this deck, it really feels like you guys could be learning a lot about love, maybe maybe doing research on your own. You know, you're watching tower readings. You could be learning about synchronicities, angel numbers, manifestations. You could be learning about soulmates, twin flames, you know, up late night reading, enjoying yourself. But then it's like, oh, when is it going to come to me? Some of you are trying to manifest love in for yourself. And it just feels like you've been putting in all the work, doing all the right things and waiting. And let me tell you, Spirit is saying you have you've been doing all the right things. You've been you have. So this is why it's your message letting you know that you're about to receive it. You're, for some, I feel like you're going to even be torn between two different people. You're going to have a choice. But ultimately deciding who is best for you. So there is love on the horizon. So get ready to have um, serious people approaching you. Yeah. I mean, even the, even the five of rods is that no, you mm, I say too, but I don't want to sound extra, but for some of you, you know how you are and you know, like if you choose to, I mean, you have options, you have options, that's it. But no, it feels like you guys are just waiting for that one special person. It doesn't feel like you want to date around. It feels like you're looking for someone special. There's, but there's a lot of competition when it comes to you. I mean, look at that energy. Even in the five of rods, there could be a fight that breaks out over trying to get with you. Honestly, someone could have a little too much to drink and one thing leads to another. And there's like a physical altercation. That is for some of you here. Because the five of rods just shows us the competition. Then we have the Knight of Cups, which is literally spirit showing us someone pursuing you, coming towards you, approaching you with their heart on their sleeve. Their heart is open. So the King of Pentacles shows me into this person's energy, very financially stable, someone that is confident, someone that they're going to. It's not like a braggy kind of energy, but they're going to let it be known how they're financially secure. They're going to let it be known, you know, to try to impress you because they want to be with you. So they want to prove like what they can provide, you know, what they bring to the table, this suitor type of energy, or it's someone who's in their masculine energy. Um, so you're going to be very impressed by that person, by their accomplishments. Um, they're very confident the way that they dress, very outdoorsy type even. And you're going to be impressed by, I feel like even when they pull up their car, everything like that. 
But there's so much more underneath the surface. And I mean, uh, money wise, I don't mean <laughs> as far as like their heart and their soul. I mean, money wise, this person is going to tell you that they, they or you'll see what their assets are, but there's more hidden. It's not like they're testing your loyalty or anything. It's just that even if they give you a number, you can times that number by three. And this person is doing very well for themselves financially. So, yeah. I feel like when I pick up on the most significant offers, as from your perspective, Scorpio, the two that stand out the most is the King of Rods and the King of Pentacles. The King of Rods is someone that is very ambitious, very ambitious. Someone that I feel is even well-traveled. Well-traveled. For someone here, you guys come from the same country and one of you has never been to your homeland and this person has. They could even like um, still have the accent from where they came from, where you guys came from. I know it's a very specific message for someone here. Butterflies are also significant, you guys, and also just the energy of the fall foliage. So I know that as we, um, you know, move forward into early September... You're going to have these people really showing up. You're going to start having these experiences. It's going to unfold because it's with this foliage here. The King of Rods, I feel, is someone... For some reason, they may not get your attention right away. Because I just keep trying to shift my focus back onto the King of Pentacles. Isn't that funny? But this is actually your divine counterpart and match. Seriously. So that's what's fun. Oh, that's funny. This king of pentacles might draw your attention more than the king of rods. But the king of rods is who you actually belong with. So what's funny is when this person approaches you, you may feel like you have a lot on paper. And like I said, even from the same place looks similar even. But I feel like the king of pentacles gets more of your attention at first. But ultimately, you end up with this king of rods. So you have a divine counterpart coming in for you. And competition when it comes to getting your attention. So hopefully you're looking for a relationship. I know the energy that I pick up on very strongly, Scorpio, is is you are. You're waiting for it, wondering when it's going to come to you. Or when the right person is going to come to you. Because for some of you now, you know, you could have people fighting over you already. And you're like, when is the right one going to come in? It's funny that you're not, they're there. They're perfect for you, but you're not paying them any mind. They're not getting your attention. So are you more? Okay. And I'm not saying this to make you feel bad. But are you more drawn to the flashiness? Are you more drawn to the drama? Or no, because I know some of you don't want to be involved in this drama. But uh, maybe it's this person's flashiness even. But yeah, that's what's going on. I see you ending up with this king of rods and that is that is your person. I see where there's potential for you to end up in a very special relationship. Okay, Scorpio. I love you guys so much. That's what I can see coming in for you. Sagittarius, you are up next. Let's get into your love reading. You guys are drawing a wish to you, definitely. And you it feels like you've been trying to draw love in. Some of you have been intentionally um, trying to manifest in a partner with that three of rods. It's like this energy of receiving, um, like a hunger and having that hunger fulfilled. You know, that, that feeling of satisfaction, you're going to draw something to you that you've had your sight set on a very loving partner is going to approach you aries energy is here i feel pisces energy as well you guys look at that the lovers gemini coming through that is beautiful the imagery in the cards is so pretty sorry if it's off center you guys okay so 
this is true love. This is a this is a real serious relationship that I see coming to you. So I feel like spirit wants you to focus on what do you want to receive, Sagittarius? Because you're just in alignment, like the energy around you as you know, we move into early September is you can receive like there i don't know it's like in the vibe it's in the air it's in the energy you can reach out and and pull to you what you want very easily so take advantage of that i feel like spirit wants you to so have your sights set on what you want or if you've already been doing that your wish is about to come true it's like finding a pot of gold literally there's a pot of gold here I know you're, this is mutual because you have someone that's looking at you in this way that wants to come into your life and just give you, give you that one missing piece of the puzzle, so to speak. So you are very close to finding, like, this is it. It's about to happen for you. Because you see, it's a nine of pentacles. Then we have the queen. But then I feel like this emperor's energy is coming towards you to give to you. Look, it's literally Santa delivering delivering a gift to you of a divine partner the lovers wow there's a lot of beautiful energy coming in for you guys so what i'm saying is it's like some of you feel like that's the last step you need in order to truly feel fulfilled in this lifetime some of you you know you have other goals you feel like you've accomplished a lot of goals and you're just looking for love and love is like that missing piece some of you are looking for a lifelong connection here and that's why it's a nine because you know ten of pentacles would be completion but it's like you're just waiting for that one missing thing in your life for this person to approach you the right person to approach you that loving generous person that wise person that's who's coming your way in that emperor's energy get ready for a very special connection for some of you it's really cute because um you're like really dainty and your person is much bigger than you. Or you're just like opposites, your opposites attract. For some of you, you even um, like you have beautiful blonde hair and your person has like beautiful dreadlocks. I see that energy too. You guys are opposites, but you're just divine partners. Or it's like personality wise. This is for some of you now. Um, like your person is very rough around the edges and they're, they could be a little bit crass, but you, I don't know. There's just something that you guys fit together like puzzle pieces, like what's missing in one, the other one has, and it's just beautiful. So you have a very special connection on the horizon. Truly you do. You're going to feel like you've been gifted, like you've been blessed by this person's energy. And what I'm saying to you is they feel the exact same way about you. So if you didn't have a chance to check out the reading I did, um, it was a reading for the collective. Um, I'll put a playlist and the title was something like the fall season is destined to be magical, something like that. If you didn't watch that reading, it really connects to your reading now, Sagittarius. And I feel like you will really enjoy that one. Or if you, if you didn't, if you haven't watched it, go rewatch it again because it connects with this beautifully. Because this really feels like something big is happening for you as we move into early September. Like, your person is showing up in your life. I mean, look at the energy, even the Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. It's very, very clear. Six of Cups, that's the past life divine energy between the two of you. You guys have been together lifetime after lifetime. But for some of you, this is your confirmation that this is someone, this past person you're thinking of, or someone from your, maybe your teenage year, someone from school, you're thinking of this person, that's the one that you're going to reunite with. You're just drawing so much positivity to you. I feel like spirit really just wants to let you know how you come across. You come across as someone that is generous, someone that is just so put together, so loving, approachable. Like you just even look like you smell good. Do you know what I mean? The way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself. So you're just attracting a lover, someone that will love you for the rest of your life, really. The two of you even together, some things that you could enjoy is cooking, being outdoors. 
You guys may both have a love of animals. Christmas could be significant to you. Maybe your favorite holiday or favorite season. You may enjoy the beach together. Um, with, yeah, you could, yeah. All right, you guys. So, yeah, you have something very, like, a beautiful, beautiful connection here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that energy. It's a wish coming true. That's what I can see on the horizon. Major, major changes in your love life, Sagittarius. I love you guys so much. That's what Spirit is showing us. Capricorn, let's get into your reading. What's coming in? How is your love life looking? What are your messages? Let's see. There's someone that wants you. They want you. Like, they're drawn to you. You're magnetic. I mean, they're just so attracted to you in many ways. You know what it is? It's your nurturing energy that is making this person so drawn to you. But the thing about it is it feels like you have the Three of Swords is here. I don't think you're accepting their offer. For some of you, are you hesitant because this person has kids? I, I can see that. For some of you here, monarch butterflies are important to you. That's um, a message to you when spirit is communicating with you. You'll see butterflies. The thing about the energy is like the two of cups is here. This person is deeply in love with you. Some of you already know exactly who this is or it's spirit letting you know who's getting ready to approach you. Um, looking at you in the empress's energy that is someone that i want to i want this person you they're thinking this about you capricorn i want you to be the mother or father of my children i want to have a family with you i want to have a life with you i want to build with you someone even wants to have a whole bunch of kids with you <laughs> there's definitely heavy heavy energy of children and where i see the three of swords is there so it's like saying no and let me tell you i'm not saying this to make you feel bad but if you say no to this person oh my god their heart is going to be shattered you could just feel like it's too much too soon because the three of pentacles look what they're tr they're trying to spin something beautiful here with you they're trying to weave something beautiful create something beautiful this person is really trying to build with you but it just feels like you're hesitant and I feel like it comes from just such a shocking connection because, I mean, the Ace of Rods and then the Two of Cups, this is alignment. This is destiny. But then it feels like there's something that's shocking about it as well, like being taken aback by it. I feel like Spirit is saying to you, Capricorn, to brace yourself for a beautiful connection. It's time you know, I spirit can't sit here and tell you what to do. You have to do what you feel is best for you. But I have to say this message because this is what the message is. You are ready to receive love. You are. You're ready for your divine partner. Your divine partner is coming into your life. Let yourself be open to it. This person wants to marry you. They will marry you. That's where things could progress between the two of you because that's the destiny between the two of you this person wants to love you and treat you right that's literally what i can hear that song is playing they want to love you and treat you right bob marley what does that mean to you this is you being on track being with this person and the two of you could create something really beautiful together. I know it may not seem that way now if there's been pain with this person, but there's something written in the stars and you two are meant for success. So that's, a, that's kind of someone's personal message here. Because I feel like spirit is really telling you, telling you, Capricorn, to embrace this chapter with this person. Don't turn this person down. Don't break this person's heart. 
Wow, that's very interesting. I feel like that message is so pushy, though. I wonder how do you guys take that? Because I wonder what's going on with you. Because the Three of Swords shows me maybe you feel like this person has hurt you already. Or do you not know that you could potentially sabotage something beautiful coming your way? You could. What is it that you're not letting yourself receive? Like, what are you holding on to that's hurting you that could make you tell this person no when this is a gift coming towards you? A divine partner for sure. I mean, that's what the Two of Cups rep represents. It's kindred spirits. Someone who's coming in your life to love you. So just take from the reading what feels right to you, Capricorn, because I know some of you have a very heartbreaking history with this person, but and you're single now, but this is the one that I can see like really trying to, you know, kind of begging you to accept the, uh, the commitment they're asking you for. They want to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. They really want to build with you. For others of you, the message is deep because I see something coming to you that you're really taken aback by the chemistry you feel with this person and everything that they're putting out on the table. It's not a trick. It's not a game. This person is serious. They know who they're looking for. And yeah, they could be moving really fast, but their intentions are in the right place. Instead of calling it off with them completely, Maybe consider just talking to this person about the pace at which you would like to do things, the pace that makes you comfortable. Because they are absolutely going to respect any any of your wishes. This person is, is thinking about long term. They're not thinking about getting what they want in the moment. Of course, they want you and they want you now. But someone who is holding you in the high regard of, as the empress that is a person who's thinking about how are you going to feel the next day and the next day and the next day? How is that going to affect us and our connection? They, they think about the future. You know what I mean? This is a person that you can absolutely talk to and express what it is that you need. Okay, Capricorn. Wow, you have someone that really, really wants to love you and just feels like they're struck by Cupid's arrows the moment they see you or the first moment they saw you and they have been hooked on you since and they just want to give it all to you. All right, you guys, that's what I can see going on, Capricorn. Love is on the horizon. Aquarius, you are up next. Let's get into your love reading, Aquarius. Hermit energy doesn't surprise me at all that that came out. Because it for sure feels like, you know, as we continue on into August through early September, you know, like the first week or so in September, it feels like you guys are just like kind of in hermit energy, doing you, <laughs> getting your rest, keeping to kind of keeping to yourself, really. Investing in yourselves, nurturing yourself. This feels like you're really shifting the focus onto yourself. And you know what? That actually makes you even more attractive to someone in particular, maybe a Sagittarius for some of you here or a Virgo for others of you. I can pick up on that energy. It could be cross watchers or your own moon or rising sign Aquarius. But the more you focus on yourself, this is like glow up kind of energy. So for some of you, you're putting a lot of attention into something that is important to you, even if that's like pouring that attention into yourself. And some of you could even be studying, I feel, or just soaking in new knowledge. Folklore could be a new interest to someone here. Or even astrology, moon phases, astronomy for someone. Someone is even thinking of writing a children's book. Someone is like tending to um, the outdoors. They love being outdoors. Their, their flowers, their plants. Others of you are just uh, making sure that you're kicking your feet up and you're relaxing. 
It just feels like you're focused on your own growth, you're focused on your own well-being, you're focused on your spiritual well-being, mental and emotional well-being, making sure that you are taken care of and that you come first. This is what I see you doing, Aquarius. Or maybe spirit is gently nudging someone that you need to start putting yourself first. You know why? It makes you more magnetic because this is this is all about me, 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 really. And it feels like when you focus on yourself like this, it makes someone more motivated to come see you, pursue you. And this person is going to show you what they're really made of. The message that I can see for you very clearly, Aquarius, is, you know, when you shift the focus onto yourself and... Like really pour that attention into yourself and love yourself and build yourself up. It just makes you more magnetic. So if you've been, oh, it's funny. If anyone has been trying to attract a partner, I wonder if you've tried that technique. It's kind of like a reverse, you know, when you shift your focus away from wanting a partner and you put that focus on loving yourself, it attracts someone to you. Because like your vibrate, your vibration raises, and the more you love yourself, you become more lovable. You just get into a higher frequency. So it feels like you're not stressing or sweating your love life at all. You're just kind of in this vibe of, you know, what's supposed to come to me will come to me. Because I just see where everything else in your life just feels like it's amazing. Success is all around you. Even there's a lot of energy coming through with peaceful sleep and a peaceful night's rest. So if things have been, you know, tense for you or if you have had the, some of the worries that I can pick up on, the energy is about to switch up. And if your love life has been making you worry, ugh, shift your focus away from it. Really, that's what spirit is telling you. I know it can sound counterintuitive as like you're watching a love reading, but if it's worrying you, Maybe watch readings about personal things for you and your own journey. You know, still watch if you enjoy it, but the less you try to look into and focus on maybe who's coming towards you, the faster it comes to you. I see a person that is very attracted to you. See, the fact that I'm watching you do all these things, that's what the vibe is like. I feel like I just have my eye on you and I'm, I'm watching you and the things that you like to do, what you're into. So that spirit showing us that you have someone that is, oh yeah, look at that, Page of Swords. You see what I mean? You have someone that has a close eye on you. Because in this deck, this page of swords feels so dramatic. It's like a periscope. This is so dramatic. Someone is is watching you now, admiring you. So you have someone that's going to approach you for sure. For some of you, this person hasn't approached yet because I think they're at a distance. Or they're from out of town. Or they're only where you are. Um, they can be where you are more often, of course, to see you. But it feels like that's like a choice to make. So you guys could be from the same place and this person has moved away, something like that. For some of you, I know this person is, is crushing on you, watching you online, watching what you do. So yeah, they have their eye on you and they want you. Yeah, they're really impressed by you. I think they get a kick out of learning about the things that you like to do. And I know that they feel you're very intelligent. They feel like you're very talented as well. Okay, you guys. So, yeah, someone really has their eye on you. I feel like this is now. Or if you want to switch the energy and get, draw this to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like what Spirit wants you to know is you're right on track. Even if you've been waiting for love to come in, it is going to come in. Just um, keep doing whatever brings you peace, joy, fulfillment, happiness. Just, you know, keep doing you and it's going to come to you. Uh, crescent moons, sunflowers, rainbows, butterflies, mice, all significant messages to you from spirit. How spirit will communicate with you perhaps when this person's energy is near. Okay, yeah, so secret admirer for some of you. 
for others of you, I will say this. This is the mother or father of your children. So I'm not saying you don't have another secret admirer. But for some of you, yes, I see that they have their eye on you, you know. You know, if you guys are not, you know, you're single, you're not with this person. I don't know what they did. But I will say that they look at you and it's with a lot of admiration. And it's just, this person really adores you. They do. I know that if you have young children, it's painful to be away from you and away from them. Okay, you know, the, whatever. You know, take from that what feels right to you. <laughs> okay, I love you so much, Aquarius. That's what I can see going on. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What kind of energy is coming in for you? I feel like this person is saying to you, like, I, as soon as I put this card down, <laughs> I literally heard, baby, don't go, which is crazy because you guys are, this is a singles reading, but you have someone that is about to come chasing you. Oh, yeah. There's someone that is about to, are you newly single? Because the Three of Swords shows me that someone is very broken hearted over you and deeply in love with you now. This energy is now, or I will say this, it could be something that happens in a, in a short period of time because, you know, we're just looking in early September. This could be someone that you connect with uh, where things happen very quickly, but you decide that you need more time. I can just see someone, Pisces, that if you say no to them, they are heartbroken. I mean, oh my God, like I think that they have it in them to kind of pull you back and say, say, baby, don't go. This isn't a person that is not, they're not too proud to beg. I will say that because they look at you as the love of their life. And there's this magnetic attraction this person wants you to be the mother or father of their children. They want to marry you. This is, there's no getting around how strong this energy is, especially with the Ace of Rods right there. So some of you already know who this is. Some of you could have children with this person already. Some of you could have been in a serious relationship with them and now you've parted ways. Some of you could still be married to this person, but you're kind of separated. Oh, they're going to try and get you back for sure. For those of you that know who this is and you've been serious with them or you have children with them, this is the one that, that is going to come chasing after you. It just feels like you know this person now, though. I will say that. But I did say, you know, if it's new energy, it's just something that happens so fast because it's like, how do they feel they lost you in such a short period of time? That makes me feel like you have to have a history. But you know what? A two of cups connection, when two souls come into alignment like that, it just triggers an awakening. It triggers emotions. It triggers a connection. So things happen very quickly in a two of cups connection, kindred spirits, all this past life energy here. So the two of you for sure know each other, if not in every other lifetime you've been together. See, that's the thing about it. It's so dramatic. You know, the five of cups is like, I'm telling you, this person pleading for you to not go. So obviously they feel like they lost you in a very short period of time. If it's new in a very short period of time, you guys, I'm just telling you, this person could fall head over heels in love with you. Honestly, with the ace of rods and the two of cups, if you if you have sex with this person, they're going to be hooked for life. There's just something about when the two of you connect, the activation, the soul ties, the memory, the love. It's go. It's like love at first sight between you and this person. So I just can't help but tell you and simp for you and pour out all this love because that's how this person feels. They feel like you are the most beautiful thing that ever walked this earth. The Ace of Rod shows me into the chemistry, the pull, the attraction. It's un. It's unshakable. And then the Empress's energy is them looking at you in such high regard. 
loving you so deeply that they would want to have a family with you, if that's possible, or maybe you already have one with them. But it's for sure looking at you and feeling like you're just an example to the world of what it means to be a nurturing, classy, caring, wonderful individual, really. See, the thing about it is you guys are turning this person down. I see you telling them no because the Three of Swords is there. But I'm telling you so many positive things about the soul ties and their intentions and their feelings. So am I telling you this so you can look at them from a different perspective and give them a ch another chance or give them a chance? I think so. But then again, depending on what's happened, you have to do what you feel is best for you. But I can just see that there's a connection here that looks incredible, but someone says no to it, which I'm fighting for it because it doesn't make sense. But there's a there's a reason, you know, I have to look deeper now because why? I have to look deeper. Let me see. Why is this five of cups here? Well, I know for some of you, this person has hurt you, especially with the history, especially if you have kids, especially they could have hurt you. And, and maybe you didn't want to walk away from that. Maybe you're just as drawn to this person as I'm describing. They are drawn to you. Maybe you just felt like you had to. Maybe you felt like you were left with no other choice. And if that's the case, is it time to reconsider being apart? Because I can see you guys connecting and being very, very happy. But let's see for others of you. What comes between the two of you? Oh, it's like just not, it's like just kind of not being ready. Someone could even want to just feel like they're more secure financially. It's just happening so fast. I feel like that's what's really catching someone off guard. The things that they have to think about in such a short period of time they, that they didn't know they were going to have to think about. So it feels like they're you're just taken aback by this person's offer. It's very intense. The Ace of This is very intense, you guys. Two of Cups and the Ace of Rods. So I feel like you're just taken aback by how quickly it's moving. And that is what could make you... To, um, tell this person no I got a very similar reading earlier I don't remember which sign it was for now sorry you guys but there was a very similar reading with with a message about someone kind of needing to take a step back before they make a hasty decision about a connection that feels like it's moving quickly um, it's moving quickly because the two of you, your souls activated one one another as soon as you came into each other's lives or as soon as you come into each other's lives. It's like, okay, showtime. This is it. It's it's. There's no more dress rehearsal with this connection, if that makes sense. So that's why it will happen fast. It's supposed it, it with a connection like this, with this energy, it's supposed to happen like back to back to back to back because you guys could even be making up for lost time with someone here. So I just will say this to whoever needs to hear this message. Whether it's you, Pisces, or a cross watcher, you're ready for this. It's going to happen fast. Just take a step back before you cut this person out completely. Just take a step back and think things through before you tell them no. You'll be happy that you made that choice. Okay, but obviously take from the reading what feels right to Pisces. I send you much love and light, you guys. Aries, let's get into your love reading. Let's see what's going on in your love life from now into early September. Oh, wow. You have someone that wants to like get you and claim victory with you. <laughs> they really do. Like, yeah, this person's energy feels very masculine to me. So even if it's a woman, they could just be like very forward in their approach towards you. But for others of you where the energy is masculine and it's like a man, it's someone who is looking to put down roots. That's really what it is. The Ten of Pentacles is here. So there's potential 
to really build a life with this person. You go from single with potentially being in a very serious relationship, or at least I know that they want that from you. And let me tell you, this person is going to fight for you. They're going to protect you. They're going to show you off. They're going to be so proud of you. It's someone who is going to just pour everything that they have into you. It's someone who is coming into your life to really build you up and, and be a mirror to you and show you your divinity, show you your strength, show you who you are. Um, this is your future. I see a future here in the Ten of Pentacles with this person. Ten of Pentacles is having a dream life together. What do you dream for your life? What kind of roots do you want to put down with someone? Because that's what that energy is. Being stable, being secure, building together, starting a family together. So you, so your love life is about to turn major here. I see all of this coming to you in the Eight of, eight of Rods. It's like fast, quick energy that feels like it came out of nowhere. And this is destined for success. See, the thing about this person's energy is they just feel like they, they're strong. Even if they're not physically like a, a big person, their energy reads as though they're the giant. But then it's like this is their courage, if that makes sense. This person's energy is very courageous, very strong, very stable, self-assured, confident, the center of attention, future matriarch, future patriarch. Someone that is uh, very open as far as um, their the way that they'll express themselves, the things that they'll they'll say. Their heart, their heart chakra is open. Their throat chakra is open. They have an open mind. They're looking for you already. <laughs> Look at the energy here. I feel like this is this person wondering where you are. So, yeah, you have someone that um, it just this feels like it's not here now because of the way that it just boom, all of a sudden comes in. So for some of you, yes, this is new energy. And as soon as this person spots you, they make a beeline to you. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter if you're driving and they're driving. It doesn't matter if you're in line or whatever. This person, as soon as they see you, they're going to make a beeline to you and approach you. And then from that moment, <laughs> that's it. They're going to make it very clear what they want, what they're looking for, pursue you, or or make it very clear that they want to be pursued by you. There's a future here. Um, the thing about this person's energy is um, it's not really even a thing. I don't know how you take this, but if you're dating anyone else, they're going to chase whoever that is away. They are. They're going to find a way to. I'm not saying that they're going to do anything like malicious. Maybe it's just getting all of your time, like earning all of your time, you know, like getting your attention because they're treating you the way that you want to be treated. No matter what, when this person comes in, they eliminate any competition. I, I just feel like this person's so proud of you and they just want everyone to see you. So this is a person that definitely will love to take your picture, take pictures with you, share those pictures. This is a person that they're so they're romantic and they like to publicly express their love for sure. Just feels like that's a part of their energy. They they are just very um social is the vibe. Social extroverted even protective boisterous they could even have a really powerful laugh like a big laugh a big beautiful smile yeah so this wow i hope you guys are like looking for something serious to come in because i mean the ten of pentacles just shows me that this person has it all together and they're looking for the one and let, it's just this energy. Let me tell you, if there is anyone else that is trying to romance you, they're not going to let you go. They're relentless. And look at that tower coming through. I feel like that's them eliminating any competition because they're looking at you like you're you're my wish. You're who I've been waiting for. The beautiful thing about this person's energy is for some of you um, where I pick up on them being like bigger, like in stat, stat, what is that word? Stature? Is that the word? Um, yeah, on the heavy set side, 
For others of you, this person's really very big, very muscular. For others of you, it's just the way that their personality is so, like, their personality is larger than life in the best possible way the beautiful thing again with the nine of cups is how this person takes so much pleasure and the pleasure they can give to you they're a giver for sure when they see you happy it warms their heart and it's like they get the same satisfaction that you get just by making you happy so you have someone very giving coming towards you Get ready for things to pick up very quickly in your love life. If you feel like maybe you're in this energy, some of you are like, that's me. I'm waiting for it to come in. When is it going to come in? Let me tell you, it feels like that all of a sudden. It's like this person just has to see you. Um, they haven't seen you yet because the moment they see you, they will make a beeline to you. This is not someone that's going to see you once and let you get away. No, no. No, so however they see you, I feel like it's in person you meet them. Because I see them literally coming up to you as quickly as they can to not lose you. Meeting them in real life where you are, locally. Yeah, I can just pick up on that energy so strongly, you guys. Okay, so that's why it feels like it's someone that you haven't met yet because the moment they spot you, they're not going to, <laughs> they're going to make sure that you know, notice them, know who they are, know a way to contact them. Okay, I love you guys so much. That's what I can see going on, Aries. Okay, Taurus, let's get into your love reading. What's on the horizon? Wow, Ten of Cups, Hierophant. That looks very serious. The devil's coming through, though. And the Page of Rods. Oh, okay. You have to be careful for rumors. You have to be careful. Yeah, hold on. You know what? I want to look further into that. Um... But this, okay, let me tell you how this reads and then I'll, I'll let you know how it progresses, right? It feels like you're going to have someone that comes into your life soon like that. If they're not already there, some of you, you're single though. No, they're not here now because once the Ten of Cups connection comes in, the two of you are not going to have any other romantic options. The two of you are going to be all over each other, joined at the hip really, like because you're just... You're, it's finally like coming together in this lifetime. And do you see literally he's carrying her? He, the two of you are going to be so close. So I don't feel like this person is in your life now. I feel like they're coming in. Or maybe you're finally going to connect with them in real life. Or they're finally going to make a move if you've just been in each other's energy, thinking of each other. Do you know what I mean? Because the Ten of Cups is like we're in love and we're together it's jumping into a relationship right away because the feelings are just there and it's intense and it's real then we see the hierophant that's why this looks like that looks like a marriage honestly the hierophant and the ten of cups you guys are gonna have someone that comes into your life um, and things are going to progress really fast with this person. You could be the talk of the town, though. You know, the talk of your inner circle, the talk of whatever social media. You're going to have a lot of people looking at what you do, paying attention to you. And I will say it's because the two of you are like the perfect couple. And it's kind of like dreamy and really fairy tale and romantic. Like when you connect, you're definitely um, leaving other people in the dust. And those people that get left in the dust are not going to like it at all. So it's like you just have people who are hating, honestly, on this beautiful connection that you have. Like hating, really, especially like the way that he's carrying her is jealous of the support of the connection. Jealous of uh, that being adored like that. You have someone who's just hating on it. And even for some of you, they're just hating because you guys are like physically perfect together, like a little Ken and Barbie couple, seriously. 
It feels like when the two of you come into each other's lives, you just know right from the moment that you want to be together and that's that. And like from that moment, you guys are just together. And of course, you're in love. So you're very euphoric and um, you're just kind of sharing and open because the love feels so amazing. Even look at the page of frauds. That's I didn't even really pay attention to that card, but this is like about what's being shared. Whatever you're posting online, beautiful pictures of the two of you, loving pictures of the two of you. Some of you are going to get engaged to this person um, within a matter of months, maybe even a matter of weeks for some of you here. It just it falls into place. But it just feels like this beautiful connection has these haters around you. Do you see? That's why that devil is there. And then the page of rods. That's why one of the first messages was about like rumors. Rumors. And then I feel like that horn is a confirmation. So you're going to have someone. I feel that is close to you. That maybe you don't suspect is jealous, but there, this person has a bad feeling about your person, right? Or your future person, because I guess technically you guys are single, but it just feels like I see you in a connection in the very near future. Like it's like it's like you're already in the connection, really. You're energetically already in the connection. So whoever it is that's around you that I can see that that you care about what this person thinks and you care about their opinion and you trust their opinion, that person is telling you things like, I don't trust them. This doesn't feel right. I think it's because it's happening so fast. They don't understand the intensity of it. But it just feels like for some of you now, it crosses the line into like starting a rumor or someone telling you about a rumor, like planting a negative seed, so to speak, in your mind when it comes to this person. And from what I feel in the energy, it's either someone that doesn't want to lose you, someone that doesn't want you to move forward in your life, could be a family member. Yeah, it, it could be. I have to look into the devil card because the way that this energy comes across is they're jealous. Do they know that they're jealous and they're trying to sabotage it for you? Maybe they don't realize how jealous they are or maybe they're just straight up malicious because the devil is there. I have to look further into that because I need to see like the truth behind the intention because this is this is where everything gets tainted. You can see the energy leading up to this is beautiful. Ten of Cups, Hierophant, then the Devil. That's very dramatic here. So I want to see. is Are they right about this person? Or are they just jealous and trying to control you? They, I want to see. No, it's, it's not that. It's just... Um, some of you have a person that's in love with you. They're head over heels in love with you. So they're trying to strategize to plant negative seeds. Yeah, so that's malicious. That feels malicious to me. You have someone that's in love with you secretly and doesn't want you to move on. So they're going to try and get you to look at this person differently. Libra's energy is strong in the reading, Taurus. And then the initial M is here. So those could be little messages to you. For others of you, though, it's just you have someone that is not in touch with their emotions at all. And it feels like this person has had maybe a negative experience when it comes to love. It feels like this person is so logical that their heart chakra is closed off. And it, they look at love like, oh, that's manipulation. That's control. You don't want that, blah, blah, blah. So they're going to, based on their own negative experiences in love and the way that their heart chakra is closed... They feel like they're giving you good advice, but it's just from a closed off person. So be careful about who you're taking advice from and who you're listening to. So that's who I can see is kind of behind it. One is in love with you. The other one is just bitter, it feels like. So I feel like this is this is spirit telling you to put down roots with this person when they come into your life. And I feel like you will because this is something that when it comes to you, there's not going to be any 
questioning how this person feels. There's not going to be any gray area. There's not going to be a time where this person leaves you um, with, without answering. And No, this is someone who the moment they come into your life, they secure a way to have communication with you. And once they have a way to have communication with you, you know, whatever you want to give to them, they're going to be in contact with you every single day. That's just what it is because there's an activation here. And there's marriage on the horizon for the two of you. So this is a deeper reading than I expected to see because this is spirit letting you know, Taurus, that your love life is about to really progress forward quickly over the next few weeks, over the next uh, like three weeks or so. This big shift comes in. This person comes into your life. Someone that you're going to want to just share with the world because you're so proud of them. This is someone that is a divine partner. You're meant to put down roots with this person. It just feels like there could be challenges when it comes to this combative person. Because I know you care about who this person is to you. Do you know what I mean? So it's like the connection is beautiful, but then there's like that tainted energy. I feel like, you know, you're strong enough to... You're strong enough to move forward, of course. You're not going to let anything come... Be the two of you are not going to let anything come between the two of you. It's just like... It's just a bummer that it has to be that way with this person. But I feel like Spirit wants you to understand how they're looking at things, their intentions, and unfortunately for some of them, how they haven't had a loving experience like what you're fortunate enough to have. So they can't relate to it. So they hate on it. Okay, guys. That's what I can see going on to her. So yeah, get ready for the one to come in. Hopefully you're looking for something serious because this is a person that's going to want to be with you and sweep you off of your feet and they they're looking for marriage that's who's coming towards you okay gemini let's get into your love reading what's going on in your love life now until early september oh something romantic is on the horizon very romantic uh yeah <laughs> something very very romantic a fresh start oh look at that queen of rods wanted to come out a lot of attention is getting ready to come in for you leo's energy i feel is here sagittarius's energy as well gemini could be who you're thinking of cross watchers moon or rising sign You have a couple different offers here because these knights bring energy towards you. So this is spirit showing me who is about to approach you. Knight of Swords. Oh, look at that. And a Knight of Pentacles too. You have three different love offers coming in. You for sure do. Yep, you do. And spirit is letting you know that one of these is going to lead to a fresh start with the love of your life. Two of Cups. Look at how romantic that energy looks. You know, it's like marriage. It will lead to marriage. And then the Ten of Swords is showing us the end of difficulties, pain, hardships in your love life. You're going to have stiff competition. They're not going to be quiet. They're not. Yeah, because you have up to three different people that want you and will fall in love with you. Now, now some are more expressive than others. This Knight of Cups is going to be a person that just is wearing their heart on their sleeve. Very open heart chakra, throat chakra. They're going to romance you. They're going to speak a very uh, softly to you. They're going to be very tender and loving towards you. The King of Cups is, I feel, very, you know, it's like a hopeless romantic kind of vibe. Not that this person is unstable when I describe them as like a hopeless romantic. It's just someone who is looking for love, believes in love, wants to, wants really to find this Two of Cups kind of energy. I just feel like this person is very gentle. They're very nurturing towards their partner. And just like kind of babies their partner, just just to let them know that they're loved and adored, just very gentle in ways that they can show them, you know, special things, maybe like cooking a meal for them, just asking them questions, could be giving them little gifts, 
even like physical touch massage this person likes those things so that's how i feel they'll pursue you so this is the one that's going to just be very open and let you know when they fall in love with you the moment they fall in love with you this is a person who wears their heart on their sleeve and is just so expressive like i said they're all in love with you though they're all in love with you, but some are more expressive than others. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, I feel, is going to try to prove themselves to you by telling you about like their finances, um, investments that they're making. They're going to try and prove themselves to you um, by impressing you with, I feel, tangible, tangible things. To, like sh Money's very important to this person. They're in love with you. Um, the way that they could show that to you is talking about something very serious, like helping you or investing in something that's important to you. That's the way that this person will show you that they're putting down roots with you. I do feel like they'll tell you that they love you too, though. I do. And I feel like this person is going to want to buy you expensive things just so you know, like, I don't know. They feel like that's quality and you deserve the best quality of things. That Knight of Swords. I feel like that's, I feel like it's a person who is very creative, very intelligent. It just feels like they can be misunderstood at times. I think the way that they communicate, it sounds better in their head than, than when it actually comes out. I feel like when it comes to the Knight of Swords, yes, they're intelligent. But as far as the way that they communicate, I feel like you might look at it like it's too rough around the edges or it's too brash or it's too cold. So maybe it's this person's lesson being with you to learn how to open up and just be more expressive. The Knight of Pentacles, I feel, is more practical. But they, I feel like they'll still let you know that they love you, but where the Knight of Swords is more mysterious. I feel like it's more mysterious. And um, someone who even, I just pick up on a temper in that person's energy. But then I feel like they'll also put in a lot of effort. They may not say the right things, but I, I think that they'll try to prove themselves to you. But you could see a jealous side to that person, definitely. So your love life looks very active. And I know that when I look at the energy as a whole, you're about to start a whole new connection. You're about to get into a relationship. You're really about to take a chance and open up your heart. Strong Sagittarius energy here. I feel like um, Spirit is telling you with that temperance card to just really make sure you take your time. I see. But the funny thing about it is I, I see you rushing into this energy. The fool is not the fool is not a take my time kind of energy. The fool is like, I'm going to go for it. So maybe you're going for it and you're just like opening yourself up to these different people, getting to know them. That could be a part of you embracing this fool's energy. But then I do feel like I have to say this. Just just take your time and choose wisely because you have options here and you have someone. Someone who just the connection could be so beautiful between the two of you. It's just, don't, it's not a warning. Do you know what I mean, Gemini? So so don't worry about that. It's not like it's a warning that something is going to go wrong. Nothing is going to go wrong. I feel like maybe Spirit is just telling you to, to be careful, take your time to be more present, to enjoy, to kind of soak it all in and, and know that who you're dating in the very near future, you're on the horizon of, okay, this is going to be, Whoever this is, this is going to be the last person I date. This is a forever type of connection. So I feel like spirit is just trying to get you to pause and be in the moment to let you see that the, uh, the next chapter, a new chapter is really about to begin in your love life. So instead of just going through it, like really let yourself pause and, and be in the moment and see that. And know that as I see up to three different people around you. Have that peace of mind of knowing, okay, well, one of you is going to be my person 
and that's that. And if you're not, then it's not you. So I feel like there's a sense of relief and like putting less pressure on yourself. I just feel like it's all about you enjoying this time in your life before you move on to a big, big chapter. And what Spirit is telling you in this reading is as we get into early September, the energy in your love life is really about to shift into something serious. It's beautiful, though, because it's the end of suffering. It's the end of difficulties. It's the end of pain. It's a, it's a fresh start. For someone here, I wonder if the fox is your spirit animal or owls. Also, butterflies could be significant to you. Okay, that's what I can see going on, Gemini. Uh, major change and a fresh start on the horizon. I love you guys so much. Cancer, you are up next. Let's tap in, Cancer. Let's see what kind of energy is coming in for you and your love life. Oh, weird. I got, I got a very similar reading with almost the same cards on another sign. And I know it's not helpful because I cannot remember which sign it was right now, you guys. Um, Leo's energy is here. Sagittarius's energy is here. I feel like this is like a test. It really feels like a test because spirit is telling you to use your discernment and it's time for you to close out a cycle with someone because when you close out a cycle, you're about to receive a very successful connection. I mean, which could be like you really putting down roots to a lifelong connection here with someone with the 10 of pentacles that maj this, okay. This really gives like narcissists for real, for real, you guys, the night of Knight of Rods, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Magician. Oh my gosh, this is this is a person that you really need to be careful of, but I feel like they almost draw you back in like magic. The Magician is here, and the, the Magician is here because this person is super, super manipulative. It feels like they're just such a show-off, really. This is a person that you don't want to invest any unnecessary time with them because it will be a waste of time. And I don't mean to sound so frank, Cancer, but I know some of you already know who this player is. Or if you're already looking at this person like they're a narcissist or you just, um, I know you're drawn to them, though. I know you're, of course you are, because this person is very attractive. I mean, the Knight of Rod shows me their energy, which is, um, it's like their eye catching, their head turning. They're exciting. They push boundaries. They push the limits. I feel like they get you to come out of your comfort zone. They could even get you to, it brings out like your bad boy side or your bad girl side. This person's energy is like hypersexual too. So I'm sure it's very satisfying with them. You know, they probably pull out all the tricks when you guys are together. But it does feel like, you know, you're single, you're not with this person. And then with the world here, you already know what they do and some of you know that this person has just been very unstable, although they're satisfying things, particularly like the way that they can give you a huge ego boost, the way that you, they make you feel seen when you get their attention. They make you feel sexy. They make you feel attractive. I'm, I can see you're very, very attracted to this person, but there is a test that's here because this is the wrong one. And it just feels like spirit is, is telling you to put an end to this so you can receive something that's going to make you feel safe and secure and successful and, and really loved every single day. Not just like Friday night or Saturday night with this person. Yeah, the five of swords shows me that their ego is really everything that controls them. This person, they only think with one head, honestly. Not to be frank, but read between the lines like... That's the magician and five of swords together, especially with the knight, the knight of rods. This person is an absolute player. So it's, it's stressful, you know. This person will stress you out if you let them, if you give them too much time. Some of you already know who this is and spirit is telling you to cut this person out. 
channel all your inner strength when they call you again, which is what they're going to do. Of course, they're going to come looking for you. This person is very attracted to you. You know, they feel like you're the chemistry with you is amazing. They feel like the sex with you is amazing. Of course, like they brag when they get to see you. You think all their friends don't know when they get to see you? Oh, please. You, they brag because of who you are. But I mean, that's all that they can. They can't offer you anything. They're, they're not offering you a future and that's not going to change. And I feel like for those of you that know that this person is in and out of your life and they ghost you or whatever the case is, you guys just pull away from each other. It's time to end that cycle and they're just going to do the same things again. So, yeah, but for others of you, I just feel like this is a test. This person is coming towards you and I feel like you have to spot these things. Spirit wants you to spot these things, Cancer, <laughs> and even look at how she's looking. Mm -hmm. Spot these things. Be on the lookout for someone who's in this energy. Because when you tell them no, you pass the test right then and there. If you can just pick up on it, even maybe as soon as they try to talk to you or the way that they pursue you, the way that they ask you for your contact information, if it rubs you the wrong way, but like this, uh, don't compromise, don't compromise. Go with what your gut tells you, which is your higher self and your intuition. If it rubs you the wrong way, then tell this person no. Because I can see where their energy is very captivating. Remember, they're coming through as the magician. They're highly manipulative, narcissistic, sexy, attractive, all of that. So I know that even if they come across the wrong way and it, it's a turn off, they can charm you so easily where they could put a smile on your face quick. And you could reconsider giving them another chance. I feel like, no, you don't want to invest unnecessarily here because this is a blockage to something very happy and successful and stable. So know your worth and don't be afraid to say no. Do not settle. If it doesn't feel right, then don't give this person the time or it's spirit telling you straight out it's time to cut this narcissistic person out of your life because they're going to come back around again i mean the reading is all about them it's crazy and it's funny because they and <laughs> i'm trying to end the reading and they want me to keep looking at them paying attention to them talking to you about them yeah, I know. It's like this person can be charming and entertaining, but they'll also really hurt you, too. They will. The, this person can mess with your head and make you... Um, they can mess with your head in a way that's very cruel. So this is not meant to be a punishment for you, Cancer. This is because you do have so much inner strength, and I feel like Spirit just wants you to finally say no to someone. You punish yourself more by saying yes to a person like this. Put yourself first. Don't let them guilt you into anything because they will try. Okay, Cancer. And I feel like once you just cut this person out, it, the, the focus in your love life, this is something that comes to you quickly. It's you pass a test and that's it. Let me tell you, this could be something for some of you now. A moment in time. You're out and about. Say you're at a bar. You're just out and about, right? But it feels it feels like it's a social gathering and there's people that you can be introduced to. You know, you turn around, there's another person there, like a restaurant. It feels like a restaurant. It's as simple as this for some of you. You have a person that comes towards you, approaches you, and that's where the chapter could begin with them in that moment. But the way that they approach you, there's some things that you like about them. There's some things that you don't. Mm -mm. It's it, it, Your intuition is going to be nagging at you. When this person asks for your contact information, tell them no. Say whatever it is that you need to say. And you know what? You pass the test in that moment. And what spirit shows me is when you say no to this person, you literally like turn around and lock eyes with, with this person, with this person here. And it's like a change of destiny in an instant like that. You say no to this person and it's like that. For some of you, it's that simple. For others of you, you know that it's just time to cut this person off. Yeah, and I'm picking up so much on the energy of meeting someone in a crowded restaurant. So in real life, when you're out and about, 
Okay, Cancer. That's what I can see, you guys. I send you much love and light. That's what's going on. Leo, you are next. Last but not least, my beautiful Leos. What's on the horizon in your love life from now until early September? Wow, you got a couple different people approaching you and a fresh start. You're going to you you have I feel even up to 3 different people cuz these that's different person that's a different person this is a different person here. Sagittarius's energy is strong in your reading. Libra's as well, you guys. And I also feel Virgo earth energy here. The fool that's a fresh start for you the chapter turning and then the ten of swords is beautiful because in your love life even though you're single i you're probably single for a good reason leo i know some of you feel like you have been through it like humpty dumpty you had to be put back together again after being broken down so many times spirit is telling you that that cycle is over for you it's the end of being torn apart manipulated broken hurt damaged that's done that is done that's what spirit wants you to know i feel like spirit wants you to take your time though in your love life right now take your time and really get to know people especially where you have all of these romantic options so if you if you're only dealing with or talking to one person right now that's all about to change i feel like they'll be there and then another person is going to come in and, and then another one is going to come in the key leo in your love life for success with the king of rods and then look at the the six of swords this is about what you let come to you i feel like when it comes to your love life you have to let people show you what they're made of let them come to you let them take the initiative let them step up to the plate I feel like it's very important that you ground your energy in your love life, Leo, because you have something really big about to happen for you. Ten of Pentacles in the Strength card, your own Leo energy. This could be another Leo. Ten of Pentacles is the future, like really building with this person, having a home, a life, a family even, marriage, all of that. Ten of Pentacles is really a strong future, a balanced, stable, stable future, someone that's like a lifelong partner. Okay, so the fact that all that energy is here is spirit letting you know that your love life is about to take a pivotal turn. Um, You're single now, but you're not going to be single for long. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Those two energies, I feel like those are newer connections for you. Someone that you have known maybe just a few months. This is not, these are not people you've known for years. This is newer energy. So what I'm telling someone here is there's two people that you've known for a few months that are really going to start pursuing you and stepping up to the plate. And that could be very unexpected when you see them come towards you because maybe you weren't really thinking about them. For others of you, um, they could be new to where you are because there's a connection between the two of you now and it feels like it's just a few months of maybe seeing you being in the same area as you. It could be someone who's recently moved to your location or there's like a, lo a change here. I know that both of these people in the night energy are looking um, to embrace the next chapter in their life and in their love life. Their energy though comes across in both of these people as, well, they're not coming through in cups energy, which is like super open and expressive and lovey dovey. They're, they come across as more practical, more like the strong silent type, more intelligent, more emotionally intelligent in that way not to insult like a like a knight of cups or anything but the knight of pentacles is someone who's very career oriented focused on money 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 and security and and always like looking for the next way to secure very ambitious very driven 
with um, a nice savings, actually. Very, very stable person. The Knight of Swords, I just feel this person is so intelligent. It feels like they are the strong, silent type. Something about this person's energy. Like, there's a, there's a part of them that feels like it's rough around the edges because the Knight of Swords, I feel, can come across as aggressive, it feels. It just feels like this person, even though they are so intelligent, maybe they just don't know how to express what it is that they want to say. It's like, you know how they say some people are so smart that they don't have any common sense? Like, I don't mean to sound insulting when I say that, but, but it's kind of like that. This person is so intelligent in many ways, but like when it comes to saying certain things or expressing themselves, it, it seems to get messed up. So communication with this Knight of Swords might be difficult. But I see you um, taking a chance, though. This, this is funny, Leo. Because you're taking a chance, but I feel like Spirit is telling you to take your time. I feel like Spirit is telling you to take your time and let something come to you. What are you waiting to come to you? So for this is a special message for someone here who needs to hear it. There's a person that you're waiting to return. You're single now, but you keep trying to manifest this person or you're looking for this person or your energy is still so connected to theirs and you're waiting for them to come to you. I feel like Spirit is saying to you to sit tight. I know you've waited, but this person is coming to you by the time early September rolls around, they're going to be back in your life. So I feel like spirit is saying, you know, even though you have these new love options, don't force yourself or, you know, just be too, I don't know. You have to be more grounded, Leo. That's what spirit is saying. Especially if you know there's someone that you're waiting to return to you. That person is going to step up the way that you want them to step up. And that knight of, I'm sorry, and that king of rods energy, Sagittarius's energy. So know that you are going to get a fresh start in your love life. I feel like spirit just wants you to be very picky um, with your choices and, and use discernment. But no matter how you look at it, it is the end of a very difficult cycle you guys have been going through. You know, when I read these two energies and where they're coming through as knights, but you have this king, which is the one I feel you're waiting kind of to return to you, or you just know there's something better. For some of you, it's a particular person. For others of you, you're like, I know there's something better. Don't put yourself in a position where you feel like you're going to run out of time because you're not going to. It's okay to be picky. It's okay to take your time. So the point of me talking about these knights is like, I feel like you're not as interested in these two. Because even when I read their energy, I'm kind of like, I just keep focusing back over here. Like, I don't know. You have these options, but I feel like there's just this one person. And even when it comes to this one that you're waiting to return to you, Leo, I feel like Spirit is saying, even take your time there. Take your time. Let yourself... Be cared for. Let yourself be taken out. Let, you know, there's nothing nothing wrong with receiving, Leo. And, you know, you're supposed to be in the energy of receiving. That's what Spirit is showing me here. Six of Swords. I feel that's what comes to you. Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords. You see, that's what comes to you. That's why it's repeating now. Someone's going to come to you, Leo. I have to say that again. Like someone that you're waiting to return. But no matter how you look at it, you're being pursued. So it's either, you know, they're coming on strong and letting you know and they're taking the initiative. Or it's someone who's making it clear that they would like you to do that and they'd be open to that. I want to look a little bit further into this Knight of Swords just to get you guys more clarity on who these two are, what you need to know about them. Or maybe which direction the connection with either of those could go in. Three of Pentacles. 
the Knight of Swords. Oh, that's funny. For some of you, you feel like this person that you're waiting to come back to you could be the one that was argumentative or rough around the edges. Because that Knight of Swords, maybe you, I wonder if you feel like that's who you're waiting to come to. Because Three of Pentacles comes through to clarify this energy. That shows me some of you are choosing to embrace the person that's in that energy, like the Knight of Swords I, I described. Maybe it's just someone who doesn't really know how to say the right things with their hearts in the right place. And I feel like for those of you that choose this person, you're choosing them because they're showing you a level of stability that makes you feel like this person is really dedicated to you, making a promise to you. So you know what? That Maybe that was the underdog and they're able to beat out all the competition and really get your attention leo some of you are going to choose that person some of you are going to wait for this other one to return i'm going to look at this knight of pentacles some of you feel like the one that's returning is the one that's all fiery and rough around the edges you know knight of pentacles i don't know it feels like you're just not feeling this person maybe <sighs> Ace of Wands is in reverse. If you take it to a physical and sexual place, you just may feel like they don't satisfy you, Leo, honestly. Or if you if, or if you feel like the connection is already off, there's something when you're around this person that maybe the, the chemistry is just not there. Or you feel like they're not virile enough for you, honestly. Or she doesn't make you feel virile. You know, it's reverse for some of you here. Or maybe it's just too much, to, like you want to focus more on passion and you feel like this person is just focused on maybe materialism and things that do not interest you. So I feel like the chemistry with that knight of pentacles is not there. So if anyone is pursuing a Leo, I feel like... Leo is looking into your heart and wants to see more of your heart. Even if you don't know how to say the right things, they'll see that your heart is in the right place. Yeah, that's what that's a message for someone here, Leo. Someone that I feel is watching this as a cross watcher and wants to pursue you and is not sure how to approach you. Just just let your heart speak. Speak for you basically. Yep. It's just a confirmation to you, Leo, an additional confirmation with the world card coming through that this truly is the end of you being single or, yeah, it's because the relationship is here. Or maybe some of you are just going to find closure that you've been looking for to really fortify yourself. So there's this strength that you know no one or a certain person can never hurt you again. No matter how you look at it, the end of being hurt, it's the end of being hurt. So this, and there's your Leo energy coming through. Could be another Leo that you end up, you know, that ends up in the mix of people interested in you. Okay, Leo, that's what I can see going on. So yeah, um, as we move forward, um, into early September, I just feel like what spirit is showing us is your love life is really about to start becoming more active. You're going to have a couple different other people come in that are trying to date you, get a commitment from you, take your time, let them show you what they're made of. And just know that through it all, you're about to enter into a very lucky and happy chapter in your life where you just feel like it's the end of suffering it's the end of pain i see you ending up in a very very happy place it's coming to you leo it is coming to you you're about to find your person and be very happy that's where it's all leading to so know that like from this moment on when you watch the reading your love life is for sure heading in the right direction so just keep on you know doing what you're doing but take your time Leo, I love you so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed your reading. I send you much love and light. I'll see you in my next video.